What's all this? <laughs> Did you really expect me to manage you out of the regular SmackDown locker room? I made a request, and management set us up with our own private VIP area. This is pretty awesome. Don't act so surprised. You need to start thinking like a champion and main eventer. Do you really think Hogan or The Rock got ready with the rest of the roster? Being on top means asking for or taking exactly what you deserve. As your manager, I worked it into my rider. You mean my rider? Sure, whatever. Anyway, are you ready to talk next steps or do you want to get settled first? I'm ready to be champion. Let's go. Great. I talked with Molly and set up an opportunity for you. A match against Charlotte Flair. Your move against Ava worked. They now see you as a singles competitor who can hold your own against a WrestleMania main eventer. Prove them right in your match against Charlotte. You got me a match with Charlotte? I'm impressed. Of course you are. I don't mess around. The Queen hasn't faced this challenger since. Ava from behind. She's not going to let her former partner get to this match. What we're seeing here is raw aggression and clear revenge for what happened at day one when these two lost the tag team championships. WWE officials may be breaking this up, but I don't think we've seen the end of this. LJ. Little Justine. That nickname's even more fitting now that you're working with the only thing that got you into WWE in the first place. Did you really think that after what happened between us, I was going to just sit back and stay quiet? You and your aunt must be stupider than I thought. I never weaseled my way into anything in my life. You approached me for a main event match. When we first teamed up for the Money in the Bank match, I not only ensured our victory, but then I had to practically drag you out of your comfort zone so that our cash-in wasn't doomed to fail. I will admit one thing, though. When you turned on me, I was kind of impressed. I didn't think you had it in you, LJ. Thinking for yourself for the first time in your career. But what I realize now is that you had just went back to having your aunt do all the thinking and work for you. So if I've got a fight with both of you, fine by me. You were always nothing more than a knockoff copy of her anyway, little Justine. I'm gonna tear Ava apart for what she did and said about me. If Ava wants to make more trouble, I'm not gonna wait until next week. I wanna hit her before she leaves tonight. That's my girl. And if you need help, I'll have your back. You'll have my back? Uh, how? You can't fight. Maybe not, but I've got a few other tricks up my sleeve. I'm not gonna let her call us both out and then just sit on the sidelines. Ava with a reversal into the ambulance. And Ava is taking out all of her aggression on her former tag partner. Do you blame her after what she did? I don't. You think you're better than me? That I'd lay down and take it when you... Look out! That car came out of nowhere. This has escalated quickly. We need medics on the scene immediately. Justine? What the hell? I think her niece is just as shocked as we are. Looked like you needed some help.
You're lucky that Ava only suffered some minor injuries, and that it was your aunt who was driving the car and not you. We'd be having a very different conversation. If you'll recall, Ava started it. My memory is excellent, including my memory of your actions at day one. But it's clear to me that you two won't stop until you destroy each other. Destroying Ava works for me. Then let's at least get a SmackDown main event match out of this. And since you're determined to drive each other to hell and back, it's going to be the most brutal match in WWE. Hell in a cell. Perfect. And one more thing. I can't risk Justine driving into the arena and hitting anyone. Our event insurance is high enough as it is. She's barred from ringside, either on foot or in a motorized contraption of any kind. Fine by me. I don't need her help to take Ava out anyway. and fearless, it's Ava Moreno. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making our way to the ring from the Bronx, New York. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. And from Naples, Italy, Guy A. Grimes. This young superstar really is the complete package. She's got power, determination, grace. Apparently dirt on you, Saxton. Give it a rest. She still has a lot to prove. you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation.